So today I'm here at BMW Park Lane for Evolve's takeover event. And you guys are going to notice the E91, which you normally see in the US, but here it is in London in the dealership showroom. After the car left the Grid Icons event in LA, Pit and Paddock and CSF Cooling sent the car over here to the UK to start the Pit and Paddock Bilstein E91 GTS European Tour. And there's no better place to start than Evolve's Park Lane Takeover. And this show is a really special show that Amron and the guys at Evolve put together of all BMWs that were made by BMW, but also some special ones that were not made that of course the tuner culture made and we bring that together here at the show. So let's walk around and look at everything here and I'll give you guys a preview. Is This is the CRT, so this is the carbon racing technology E90 that they came with. And this was released about the time that the GTS was released, but there's a lot fewer. There's only 67 cars. This has one of the best interiors from BMW that would have came, which is a black and red full carbon bucket seats. It actually is a two plus two. So this has M5 CS style, which is a recent car that BMW had this in way back in the day. This was over 10 years ago that this car was made with this interior. It also has lightweight carbon bonnet or hood, 4.4 liter, same engine from the GTS with the DCT, some KW V3s from BMW, and it has the bigger Brembo style brakes with the front and rear. This car is 67 kilograms lighter than the factory E90 M3. So it's a much lighter version, it's a much rarer version, and it's something that a lot a lot of people don't actually know exists or was ever made by BMW. So moving on, and you guys see beside me, probably one of the most famous Instagram J87s that you'll see, the GP Products J87 M2 GT with the full Alpha N carbon kit. It's got the hood, the front lip, the fenders, the rear diffuser, and it has the crazy style wing, which is the lightweight style in the States, but it harkens back to the GT that was made in E36 days. This has also been full resprayed, the British Racing Green, and it's really a combination of a heritage car, a heritage color, and the look of the new G class of cars. So this is one of my favorite M2s. The cool thing about the wing that's here and the cool thing about the color is it comes from the E36 M3 GT, which happens to be parked right behind it. So let's walk over there and check that out. So this was a Germany only homologation special. This is a 95. It has the S50 B30, which is actually a lot more powerful than the lightweight motor that we got in the States for this car. They were all painted British racing green. They have, as a lot of people would reference, the lightweight adjustable front spoiler. So this has a really neat gray and green interior. It has the carbon package with the center console and the carbon, kind of like the lightweight that we got. Just over 350 models were made. This is a car, when I bring this up in conversation, especially in the States, a lot of people don't even know existed or was a thing. So that's what's so great about the G87 that we just touched on is that it has that hearkening to this heritage of BMW. And to be able to see this car in person and have it be here side by side is such a special thing, uh, especially for this display. And what really makes the display here so, so cool and we're honored to be here. So just like the special models that we previously covered, the CRT and the M3 GT, because this is the M4 GTS, in the launch spec, which was actually an inspiration for the car that's displayed just in front of it, which is an OG F87 M2 that's been inspired with the GTS. So this has buckets in it with a roll bar. It has a lot of the Alpha N and RKP parts to make and fit the part of it being a GTS style M2 with the touches of orange on the wheels and the front splitter to really make it tied in where it's a combination of aftermarket and OEM inspiration from the GTS, which is always the stuff that I like. It's the tie-in between what does BMW think is the best at the time? What does the aftermarket think is the best? And then brought together in a perfect car like this. This is a famous car that Evolve built that Emron's had for a while. So it's great to see it here. And it's really cool to tie it in with the factory inspiration M4 GTS. So here I am standing in front of another S65 with even cherry intakes on it, but it's again, somewhere it doesn't belong, just like the E91. This is actually in a 120D that's been converted to a 1M with all the OE body panels, painted BMW color, Java green. So this is a proper conversion. It's done all the subframes, front and rear are done to be M3. This has the seven speed DCT mated to the S65. This is a car BMW should have made back in the day with this motor. So the last pair of cars that I wanted to go over is a G82 M4 CSL. This is a factory spec in the launch color, which is the frozen Brooklyn gray. And this ties in well with a car you guys have seen on the channel before, 
which is Evolve's G81 M3 Touring, which is a little bit different from what you guys have seen because it now has an Alpha N carbon roof and an Alpha N carbon bonnet, but it's pretty much the same as you guys have seen it. So this is a CSL spec G81 Touring, which is the car we never got in the US and we will not get in the US because they're gonna finish those up with the Touring CS models. We wanna finish this here. We're actually gonna have a link in the description to our other video on this car where I go into all in depth about what they did to create this. Thanks for guys for tuning into the channel. It's an honor to be here at the Evolve Park Lane Takeover at Park Lane in London in the UK. And we'll see you guys next time.